Hello, my name is Tinu Odenoga, a talk show host. I would like to send a heartfelt sympathy to all those who have been killed in Plato, those who have been attacked by Fulani herdsmen. It is a shame that there isn't enough security to support lives. Human beings are not animals. Human beings are valuable humans, mortal humans, who should be respected and who should be placed above animals. It is a shame that all we can do is just look up to God to protect us. Even though there is a government in Nigeria, sadly, where is the security to protect lives? Why is there tribalism? Why can't people cope with each other? The two main problems affecting Nigeria today, the two main pro problems killing Nigerians today are tribalism and religion. Yes, tribalism and religion. Why can't we cope with each other? Even though your religion is different from your brother or sister, it doesn't mean you shouldn't tolerate what God are you serving if you believe you have to hate, if you believe you have to kill? Someone who has similar characteristics with you. How on earth can't you tolerate their language? If you travel abroad, you will be complaining about racism. Whereas even in your country, in your fatherland, you cannot accept your brother or sister because they've got different language, because they come from a different part of the same country. Come on, wake up. Let us start showing love. Let us start uniting as one so that we can address the problem on ground. The young people living in Nigeria really need us today. Most of them are lost. There's no job for them. Education is difficult because they haven't got enough to pay for high school fees. So many religious leaders today are just brainwashing people to feed their greedy needs. Nepotism prevents so many people who are qualified from getting a proper job. We're supposed to address corruption. We're supposed to address crime, which is prevalent today. If we unite, we are able to do that. If we refuse to unite, this is what is going to happen continuously. Imagine babies are being slaughtered. Expectant women are being slaughtered. Old and young are being beheaded. And all we hear is just promises and talk. The government of Nigeria should please do something. The president of Nigeria, President Mohammed Buhari, this is the time. This is the time to voice out and protect your people, our people, Nigerians. Protect Nigerians from their hands. 
of terrorists. The people of the north of Nigeria too, most of them are scared because a lot of them have lost their homes and family members to Boko Haram terrorists as well. Please, Nigerians, let us unite in love. Let us unite to accept people the way they are, the way they are. Government, do something about these terrorists. Do something about them. Once again, I send my heartfelt sympathy to all those who have lost their families in plateau and those who have lost their families in the northern part of Nigeria Nigerians do not lose hope the young people in Nigeria refrain from taking drugs refrain from abusing drugs create opportunities yourself don't be afraid to make mistakes, try to take pains from labor, go into agriculture. There's a lot of benefits and reward there. There are so many things you can do to make money legally. There are so many things you can do. Please don't give up. Don't lose hope. Remember hope is a very, very strong motivator. Tomorrow will be brighter. I send out love and peace to the whole world. I am Tina Otunuga. Bye-bye.